Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Start. Today I'm going to be talking about a statistical um, technique uh, called correlation, um, which is used to calculate or show if there's um, a relationship between two pairs of variables. So, for example, we want to check if there's a relationship between the height uh, and the weight of a person. Uh, to follow along this tutorial, I'm going to be using the IRIS dataset. Um, so to start out, uh, we'll load the iris data set, so the data, iris. Uh, so if we look at what's in the iris data set, so we've got um, five columns. Uh, let's check the size of that, the dimensions. So it's got 150 rows and five columns, sepal.land, sepal.weight, uh, petal.land, petal.weight, and species. Um, to, calc to do a correlation on these five, four columns, this um, land, wheat, petal.land, and petal.wheat, what we're going to be doing is let's do a correlation. So, a correlation of iris. Um, so, let's pass in the first four columns. So, uh, one to four. And if I do that, um, so we've seen. Um, the correlation between sepal length and sepal length is one, yes. Uh, correlation between sepal length and sepal width is negative 0.11. And the relationship between uh, sepal length and petal length is 0.87. As you are aware, uh, cor correlation says um, if um, the um, value is um, closer to one, then it's a positive one, and oh, it's, it's a positive one, and it means that the larger one variable gets, um, the larger the other one gets. And while if it is zero, it means there's no relationship, and if it is closer to a negative one, it means as one gets larger, the other gets smaller. And so we can say, okay, there is a kind of relation, good, a strong relationship between sepal length and petal length, and there's also a strong relationship very strong relations between petal length and petal width. So this is how to uh, do correlation in R. Uh, however, if we want to plot this to see it, you know, looking in a graphical way, how can we do this? Uh, to start out, uh, you will need the core plot uh, package, which you can install by typing core plot here, uh, or just simply, so I would enable my core plots. You go ahead and uh, get the package. Uh, so to plot that, uh, what we do is let's pass our initial correlation into a variable. Let's call this uh, m. So we pass that in there, and then if we type core plots, and we pass that variable m in there, and that should plot that. If I click on zoom, uh, so you see the, the, the darker it is, um, the closer it is to one. So if we look at petal width, for example, is a little bit light, so it's it's gonna be around here. If you look at the value here, 0 0.87, and um, you can see uh, that they're closer to one. And if you look at something like negative 0.4 here, they're really small, so it's about negative 0.4. Uh, if you're not satisfied with this plot, uh, there are other methods uh, that you can use. So if I type core plot, um, and I pass in the variable and I say method was to this time I want squares. Now we've got squares, uh, so we see that. Um, other ones are core plots, and this time let's pass in ellipse. And that's when the ellipse core plot looks like, and we can also do numbers. So if we say number. And so the number is something like this here, uh, but this time it's just passed in a graphical uh, plot. Another method we can do is we can do color. And as you can see, uh, the darker blues indicate stronger relationship. Uh, the lighter means, uh, well, a little bit strong, but not as strong as one. And the last one that I can use is pi. And so the closer it is to 360 degrees, uh, I guess the uh, more 
the the stronger the relationship so strong relationship yeah strong relationship strong relationship strong relationship strong relationship uh, so that's how to do a correlation one thing i forgot to point out in the initial uh when i was talking about correlation is uh, the default uh correlation method in um R is the piercing correlation method. So say when I passed in iris and I passed in one to four. So this uses piercing. So if we want to use other methods like the spearman, would say method is equal to spearman. And as you can see, uh, the values are different, and there is also the Kendall. Uh, method. So Kendo is a little bit more different from person, but person is the common one. And so this brings us to the end of how to uh, do the correlation statistical technique in R. See you in the next lesson.